What's up guys, this is Heiss. Today we are in stall five at the Colorado Railroad Museum's Roundhouse. And behind me here, you can see Colorado and Southern number 1009. That is our barber caboose. In yesterday's video on Railroads Online with my buddy Con Gaming, we bought a way car, a DSP and P way car, and I talked about how we had the modernized version. Well, here it is. These cabooses are really neat, unique pieces of equipment. You can see it says 1009 above the door right there. And they're interesting because despite adding the cupola, which is the little house on top there, they still retained only two axles the whole way through. So these cars ride pretty rough when you're going down the railroad because it's pretty much solid other than that little spring between the wheel set and the body. Whereas when you have a truck with two axles on each truck, there's a little bit more freedom and pivoting before it gets to the body. So they're rough riding, but definitely a cozy little caboose. You can see that we've got the car sanded right now. It's getting a lot of repair work at the moment, touching up the paint, fixing some of the siding and all that fun stuff. But you've seen plenty of the exterior in game, of course. So why don't we climb up on the platform and hop in? <laughs> Narrow gauge cars are not very large. I'm pretty much average height, maybe a little bit more in my steel toed boots and uh, I don't fit in the door, so John Raritson clipping his head through is not too surprising. You can see that we have the handbrake on this end, and the handbrake actually sets up as you turn the wheel and then latch this paw in to hold it. If you really want to actually get any braking force, then you need a brake club. Well, let's go inside this car here. Let me get my light turned on. So we step inside and welcome inside the CNS 1009. Get the door closed here. The doors have neat hardware, multiple latches with a more modern lock and then an old skeleton key style lock. We have our coal stove here. And it's got stove pipe out up through the roof. And then this is the tin lining where there was asbestos behind originally. We actually recently abated this car. That's why it's in the shop getting work. So all the asbestos has been removed. But these stoves are neat in that you can lift the grates out, tend the fire there, and as well, you can pop them open and tend the fire this way, and there's damper controls and airflow controls down below. We presently have a bunch of extra boards in here ready for replacement and all that fun sort of thing, but normally these nice padded leather cushions are sitting there and there. And as you lift them up, we've got trap doors that go underneath and do some storage so you can hide all of your railroad goodies in here. We also have lamp holders here. We have a tank for water and ice, and then as well, an actual little sink with a drain that goes out onto the railroad track. We also have a writing desk for the conductor so he can fill out all his paperwork right here. Fun thing on some conductor's desks, we have another caboose, the 0578, where they plumbed the brake pipe up to a valve at the conductor's desk. So if the conductor was getting jostled around, he could set the brakes up and piss off the engineer. It's pretty funny. But uh, I guess the CNS was above doing that. It's pretty nice, slick accommodations for the early 1900s. We have a fold down table here. Let's see, we keep it locked in the upright position so it doesn't come down and bang you when you're sitting down or lying down on the bench here. And then we have the addition that got added by the CNS rather than the DSP and P, and that is the cupola. And the cupola always feels like the cupola always feels like a like a little fort or something, like when you're a little kid. It's pretty cool getting up inside here. You can see we have multiple different handholds to help you up and cushions for the various different sides. Although, of course, we're in the midst of restoration work, so things are taped off and there's all sorts of extra hardware and paint and all that fun stuff. Also, underneath the seats, we have all manner of cubbies for storage of all sorts of goodies. 
You have your lanterns in there. You could have stuff for heating up food or eating food that you cook on the coal stove. You know, all that sort of stuff, drinkware, everything like that. And probably back in the day, a little bit of liquor, but you know, uh, not anymore. <laughs> Let's see what the, the look is like from up here. Always make sure you're using three points of contact when you're climbing up and down on these things. And so here we are at the top of the, the caboose in the cupola. It's pretty neat up here. And your view out. So whether you're running this way or you were running that way, you'd have a really nice line of sight down the whole train because most of the train cars would just be about the height of the caboose. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little look at a real piece of equipment from Railroads Online, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the Railroads Online series as well. Thanks so much for watching.